Hi, this instructional video is a continuation on markup and markdown. This one is an extension, however, where we actually try to figure out the total amount when you purchase an item, such as, this is what I get on the mail. I'm a sucker for these things. Drill. I already have like four drills, but I could always use more. Here, here's a cordless drill. It's a 3 8 inch. 18 volt, powerful stuff. Comes with two batteries. And it says here that this used to cost $99, the original price. But now, it's a new lower price of $89.98. This is where I introduced a, a percent com set where I say, no. <laughs> and what that meant was percent change is equal to the new price minus the old price divided by the old. N O O. No. And the new price. It says here $89.98. $89.98. Minus the old price, which was $99. Divide that to find the percent by the old, which is again $99. When we talk about money, I don't like to take chances, so I use a calculator to double check. In this case, $89.98 minus $99. I have a savings of $9.02. They reduced the price by $9.02. And since it's reduced, it's negative. So that is the discounted amount. However, I want to find a percent savings. So to do that, take that $9.02 discount amount, divide that by the original, which is 99, and that gives me a decimal form of a percent discount, negative 0 0.0911, and I just like to carry to the four decimal places because when we change the decimal to a percent, you move the decimal to the right twice. So the final savings is 9.11% decrease because it's negative. So that is a savings of nine, just pretty much 9% discount. So, being a smart shopper, some of my students brought into class something like this from a sporting goods store. Do you think you could determine the discount amount and also the discount percent? Go ahead. Okay. So then you said the percent change or I like to use the Greek letter delta to represent change, is the new minus the old divided by the old, or the difference of the new and old divided by the old. The new is $19 minus the old price of $34.99 divided by the old again, $34.99. So since we're talking about money, I don't like to take chances. I use a calculator, so I go 19 dollars minus the old price, 34.99. And so I'm getting a discount of $15. They're reducing it by $15.99, almost $16. So that's the discount amount. And I'm going to divide that by the original to find the percent change. So divide that 15.99 negative by the original 34.99. That gives me a whopping 0.45698 blah, blah, blah. So if I move the decimal to the right twice, I get 45.69%, almost 46% discount or 45% decrease. Awesome. So now that you got the idea, Let's go to this. 
Your choice. Either 50 foot heavy duty garden hose that used to cost $24.98 or the gloves. If you need medium women's leather palm garden gloves, it's on sale now for $14.98. Which one would you like? And you figure it out. Why do I get this feeling that you chose the glove because the numbers were smaller? So let's do that one. So the percent change is N minus the old over the old. The new price is $14.98. Thank goodness we have a calculator minus the old, which was $17.97 over $17.97, the original amount. And so using the calculator, we said $14.97. 98 minus 1797 is the reduction of $2.99. That's the discount amount. Divide that by the original amount to get the percent change. So we go divide, take that answer divided by $17.97. Original amount gives me a decrease of, that's what negative means. 0.1663884. Actually, you can make that into a 64 if you like. So actually, it is 1, 2. So 16.63% decrease. That's a pretty good savings. And of course, if you went ahead and chose the. Hey, who doesn't need a garden hose, huh? It used to be. Percent change is N minus the old over the old. The new is 19.98 minus 24.98. Divide that by 24.98. So 19.98 minus 24.98. You're saving $5 exactly. It's a $5 reduction. And divide that reduction by the original to find the percent savings or change or decrease. It's a negative 0.20016 something. Move the decimal to the right twice. That is an awesome 20.01% decrease. Awesome stuff. You should know how to do this to be a smart shopper. Okay then. So now we know how to determine the discount amount, but in real life, especially here in Southern California, we also have to pay an additional thing called sales tax. So how do we determine that? Basically, how do we determine the final out the door price? For example, in this case, I was very excited about the drill. It used to be $99, now it's 89. And we know that's a savings of $9.02, which is just over 9% discount decrease. But you don't just pay this amount. You don't just pay $89.98 and walk out the door. No, no, no. You have to pay an additional thing called sales tax. To find that out, we take that reduced amount, $89. And here, this is Los Angeles County. And it just went up this year to 9% in 9% sales tax. So to figure out, you have to take that percent and make it into a decimal by moving the decimal places twice away from the percent to the left. So it becomes 0 0.09. That empty space, you put a zero there. And you multiply. And again, we're talking about money, so I like to use a calculator so I don't make a mistake. And 89. 0.98 times 0 0.09, I'm going to pay them an additional, now this one does not go to the store, this money goes to the state of California. So I'm paying 8.0982, so I'm going to round it up because we have to do that anyway. So it becomes 8.10 cents. $8.10 is the sales tax amount. And since I'm paying that in additional to the sales price amount, I'm going to add that together, 8.09.82 plus D 
the original price eighty nine point ninety eight. The final price out the door is going to be ninety eight dollars and zero seven eight two. So look at the the thousands place. That's five or greater. So seven goes up to eight. Here is the actual amount. So if you wanted to pay cash, you better have that ninety eight dollars and eight cents to pay to take that out the door. So. Now, do you think you could figure out the total after price for this basketball? We figured out the discount amount, $15.99. That's a good discount. And the sales price is $19. But what is the final out the door price with the sales tax? Why don't you figure it out? Okay, so you said out the door is when you multiply $19 times, assuming I am buying it from the Los Angeles County store, is 0 .09. So $19 times 0 .09 equals, you're going to pay an additional $1.71. That's a sales tax amount. And what do you do with that? Well, you add it onto the original amount the sales price that is nineteen dollars, so dollar seventy one, dollar seventy one plus nineteen dollars sales price, that gives me a total price out the door at twenty dollars and seventy one cents. Okay, still a good price. It used to be thirty four now, so that's really good. All right, all right. So let's go shopping.